Yo, 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 what up everyone? It's the Swamp Fox 3, bringing you some more Division Clips. This is a little 3v1 action, a little DZ action. You know, these dudes would not stop pestering me and would not leave me alone. I mean, honestly, I try and respect people that are solo in the DZ. I mean, to me, if you're DZ in the solo, I mean, you gotta be a bad cat. You gotta be a cool dude. You know, so I try and give a lot of people a pass, but unfortunately, there's, you know, assholes like this that we do within the DZ on a daily, if not every minute, you know, so these guys just would not stop following me. They kept, you know, pretty much killing me. Just finally, you know, they ran off the rogue and then they found me again. And so, you know, I decided let's get it on, you know, so as you can see, they're really not focusing fire on me as much as they normally should. So I kind of take that to my advantage. I use my sausage and my bullfrog. I'm also running the four piece striker with a reckless chest piece and a specialized backpack. Now I've tried it with the Barretts and honestly it just seems better with the reckless. But I mean just dealing with these type of players in the DZ I mean you're gonna come across all the time I just wanted to show a little video so you can kind of check out the build and actually see what it's worth and actually see what it can do but the DZ it's just been up and down man like it's ridiculous it's like I like what they've done as far as like taking away like the armor and stuff but they definitely should like Maybe add some armor mods, how they do like the all resistance plus two, you know, mods. They should maybe add like some armor that give you plus, you know, so much armor or something like that. I just feel like the way that the toughness is set up, I could have 7,500 stamina and still get dropped as fast as I'm getting dropped right now. Don't even pay attention to my dude's leg tap, man. He was nervous. I was nervous. I felt like some dudes was about to run up on me, man, and just kill the crap out of me. You know, so definitely in this game, man, they should add a little, you know, a few corks here and there, you know, to try and fix it. But they've done a good job so far. I hate what they've done with skill. I think that they should kind of make skill a little tougher. But let's get into this build. All right, so I'm running Bullfrog, as you can see. Now, the mods that I have on it, I think I only have accuracy on my grip. Now, a lot of people say the accuracy and the stability isn't good for the Bullfrog because it lowers the damage. But honestly, it's not going to lower it that much. I mean, as much accuracy is thrown on some of these attachments, it's really not that high, depending on which attachment. Now, with this Sausage... To me, it's one of my favorite shotguns. Uh, the Showstopper is really, really good. A lot of people hate on it just because it doesn't put out that much damage. But you got to think, man, it's an automatic shotgun. I mean, the Sausage is really good. But if you don't have a Sausage and you only have like a Showstopper or something like that, definitely use the Showstopper, man, because that thing spits like straight fire, straight dragon fire. Now, with this Reckless chest piece, I actually got a pretty decent roll. Now, like I said, you could run a Barretts, but to me, the Barretts just isn't doing it for me with the toughness. Um, I have three Barretts chest piece. I have a Firearms, a Stamina, and an Electronics. I tried the Firearms and the Stamina, and I just wasn't digging it. I'm definitely looking for some more striker knee pads, but I feel like I don't know what the max is really on the knee pads. So if someone could maybe, you know, write a message or leave a comment and let me know, I deeply appreciate that. Um, now, with everything else as far as gloves and my holster, I would definitely love to get some more of those. I have a thousand striker glove, but it's just for my shotgun. Now, if I had some assault rifle damage on it, I would love it even more. But what can you do? You know, you can only get so much on the division. And I guess the roles that they give you, you know, it's either hit or miss. So with my specialized backpack, I always prefer it to be firearms, if not stamina. Now, if you're going all firearms, you need to at least put all stamina mods on. Doesn't matter if it's for health. I mean, honestly, I would go for health just so you could be a little bit more tanky, but you need that stamina mod so you can unlock certain perks on your gun. Cause you know, sometimes it's like 3,800, if not a little higher. 
so just depending on the perks of your gun you know you're just gonna have to try and roll for certain things to get it higher if not you know you're just gonna have to put on certain mods now with my weapon damage and my critical hit chance and all that good jazz it's not the highest but it really doesn't matter man like with the high rate of fire that you're spitting i mean it doesn't really matter as much with the critical hit chance to me it is so high whenever you start shooting it like it just it's like i said man it's like a dragon man it just spits fire like that thing is just and once you pop the dang booster it's it's so high man it just keeps climbing and then like i said you're using the striker so it just keeps building you know and right now i'm gonna try and show you you know what my damage does and then i'll show you what the damage is with the booster now like i said if you're gonna run this build you know use it in a group way if not you know sometimes you can use it solo but it's really good for incursions it's really good for legendaries it's a lot of fun in the dark zone as you can see but it's just a really fun build man i like the way that the game is kind of set up now it's not just set up to where the skill guy is just the support guy it seems like you can have a dps guy that's kind of tanky or just a straight dps guy that's a support guy too you know so it's kind of cool what they've done but as you can see with that booster shot man i'm just ripping through the damn target i mean a lot of the times a lot of guys move and roll around so if you do aim down the site you know just remember you know let off you know left trigger you know then lock back on with them because a lot of the times that's how you get just jumped or that's just how you get beat man like you know you're locked down on the target pressing left trigger and then you're just getting shot by two or three other guys so always remember man if you're in a pvp man don't you know lock down with the trigger man it, it can help you in some ways and then some ways it can just be a disaster because you can't see what's around you but if y'all have any more questions man or I guess comments anything like that you know i am doing a giveaway at 50 subscribers of an xbox one controller or a ps4 depending on your system or depending on the one that you want so you know like and subscribe definitely leave a comment let me know who you are man let me know what you want to see definitely be dropping more videos i will be showing off i think my final measure build next it's really really good it's so fun man especially for the incursions for legendaries and also pvp because so many people try and toss grenades at you and you can just detonate them for your whole squad so it's really really fun but thank you guys for watching man like i said if y'all have any questions anything like that you know just let me know have a good one